Hey guys, what's up? It's Kale Ninja back again with another video, and today, also I need to start my music, let me start my music. Yeah, uh, today we are doing a Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles tier list, which is something I wanted to do for a little bit, where I think all the characters are going to be placed, and since obviously I've been playing this game for three days, on and off, every like one and three hours, I obviously know everything about this game. So you have to take this tier list completely seriously, and just like always draw from this when you're making a tier list because this is the 100% factual tier list and if you didn't get that I was joking please leave my channel and never come back yes I've only been playing this game for a little bit I probably still suck but I just want to give my opinion on what the tier list is and I hope you res respectfully go in the comments and tell me what you don't like about it please um but yeah uh we're gonna start off First off, all the costumes are going to go in this tier list tier. So I'm going to go do this, 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 and this. All right, here we go. So first off, oh yeah, also Inosuke. Can't forget about you. Uh, first off, Hinokami Tanjiro I think is like really, really, really good. No matter what anyone says, I feel like I feel like resets are pretty good with him. His damage is already good without it, so. Yeah, um, Inosuke, Inosuke I feel is also good, I'm also, I'm gonna rearrange where I think everyone is, since there's not a lot of people, um, I don't know enough about Makumo, but to just give, like, an eyeball guess, I'd say, probably in this tier, like, around here, and since she has, like, weird, like, traveling moves, I think she'd be, like, right here, Murata, I feel like, would probably be C tier, I don't know, because I don't know enough about Murata, but he seems like a joke character. Like, he might have one combo and one, like, weird thing. But besides his cheer and stuff, I honestly don't think he's, like, that good. So, I'm going to say here. Um, Nezuko. I feel Nezuko's strong as an assist. I use her as a glorified assist, but I genuinely think she's pretty good. But I do I think she's in the same tier as these guys? Nah, probably not. Water Tondra. I've heard Water Tondra's broken. And like constantly, so I'm just and I see that he does a lot of damage and he has water wheel, which is a really strong move in general. So I'm gonna put him in S tier. Uh, Ren Goku, I heard Ren Goku does a lot of damage, but one thing about a character that does a lot of damage, I feel like Ren Goku is just a scrub killer, and like he's not actually as good as people think he is, but at the same time, I want to. Like, not give him the... I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's actually good. So, I'm going to put him here. Like, lower S. Um, uh, Sabito. I think Sabito is A tier. A or B tier. Low A, B tier, whatever. I mean, doesn't he have Water Wheel? If he has Water Wheel, it's already pretty good. Um, Shinobu. I genuinely think Shinobu's S tier. Um, with how fast she comes in, with how her movement mix-ups are really weird and shit. She, she can just go in, like, out freaking prioritize dashes and stuff, so you can't really dash her. You can move you can move out of the way of a lot of things. If a Shinobu wants to mix you up with movement, she will. Um, I feel like people aren't optimizing her movement enough with uh, cancels to her side special and all that stuff. So, yeah, and also she has poison, so, you know, fuck that. <laughs> um, uh... Mm, Giyu? I feel like Giyu's not S tier, but I don't feel like he's bad, so I think he's A. I feel like most of the characters in this game are A. So I think this... I think Giyu's, like... Uh... I feel like he's better than Sabito. Um... Udodaki? I feel like Udodaki's gonna be super slept on, but I think he's really good with the traps and stuff. With, uh, like, his camping potential, if you really wanted to. Uh, I feel like he's here? I feel like he's, like, here. And he's a water breather, so he has water wheel. And he has that jumping water wheel, which is also a mix-up, too. Um, Zenetsu? I get, I remember when I said Zenetsu was bad. But honestly, now I think he's, like, up here. Especially with the speed of Thunderclap Flash. You can travel around the screen with that shit. Um, catching assist breaks and stuff. Uh, his combos are pretty good. I thought his damage was bad, but it wasn't. It really wasn't. I was just I was just bad at optimizing. I need to make a new Zenetsu diet anyway. Because the dead one, one was trash. It has so much misinformation. I'm sorry. Uh, but 
I feel like Zenetsu is either high A, low S. I don't know. Because Thunderclap Flash Pod Assist seems pretty oppressive. Um, I could see... Uh, I could see just him being here. I feel like he's better than Inosuke. Alright, time for me to, like, rearrange this so that way I can, like, like, you know, make sure everything's sweet. Hmm. Honestly, I think Nezuko, I think there's no C tier anymore. I feel like every character is viable. Um, hold on. I feel like every character is decent. Um, I just feel like there are lesser degrees of good. I like this tier list. Because, like, it assumes none of the characters are bad. Which, none of the characters are bad. I don't believe any of the characters are bad. Uh... The only reason Giyu is so low is because sometimes his dead calm just doesn't work. But when it does work, it's just a lot of damage and shit. But, hmm. Like, I saw a clip where a Makumo would do Water Wheel and it went right past Giyu's, uh, dead... Or, dead calm, yeah. Dead calm. And it was so sad. I hated that so much. It it looks so freaking annoying for the Giyu player. Uh, Hinokami Tantra is top of A because one, I'm probably kind of biased since he's my main, and I don't want I don't like downplaying my main. Uh, his resets are pretty good. There are some options you can use to beat him, but other than that, if they're not expending it, you're getting like a good 60% for free. Um, you can also spam that shit for a while. It's a good mix-up between, like, his armor break, or his armor move, or armor attack, and his unblockable. Which is pretty solid, and I really like that. Um, that mix-up potential is really strong. Especially with a good Hinokami Itanjiro, who's fighting a person who's just mashing. So you can catch them with the armor move after you wait for a little bit, and then start a new combo. Uh, Udodaki? I feel like Udodaki should be higher, honestly. Um, Inosuke is strong because he's one of the few characters that I've seen that can get, like, a blue combo without a parry. Because I think Giyu and Inosuke are the only ones, I think. Comment down below if you know another character that can get a blue combo. Um, Murata seems like a more utility character with his cheer. But honestly, it could go either way. Uh, hmm... I think Rengoku's high because he does a lot of damage, and you can get him really easily in this game. Um, Shinobi can get really in easily, but she doesn't have as lot of damage. I could honestly see them switching places, but honestly, I feel like Hinokami Tanjiro's resets are, like, good, but they can still be beaten, and Shinobi's just get on your ass and never let you go. Which is most of the characters, but I feel like she encompasses that more with her, like, dashing forward moves and, like, the way she moves and her air dash. Um... Nezuko, I feel like I could put Nezuko higher, because she has, like, a really good assist, and you can really just mix that up with her, like, multiple demon claws, or demon flurry, so I feel like it could be here? I don't know. I don't think Giyu's as low as I think he is. I think I'll put him, like, right here. I don't know. Tell Giyu players just tell me what Giyu think you think Giyu is. Uh, honestly... I feel like a lot of these characters could be interchangeable. Like, honestly, as soon, like Hinokami, Hinokami Tanjiro is the only one who I think is genuinely better than all of these characters. All of the rest of these characters can be mixed and matched, in my opinion, honestly. The game is pretty well balanced. Everyone can be played. So if I put you low, like I put like Nezuko, Murata, Sabito, don't think that it's the characters bad. It's just that everyone else is better. It's not, it's just simple fighting game principle nowadays, where not any character is really that bad, but some characters are just, like, better, so we have to gauge it off of that and not all characters, like, weaknesses, because most characters just have, like, the same strength as others. Oh, I forgot about Inosuke's, uh, infinite pressure, didn't I, huh? I almost forgot about that, huh? So, with that in consideration, I'll put him up here. I forgot. Um... Infinite pressure in this game where everyone's sp trying to spam push block and shit and can't get out at all is super strong. Super strong, man. So, honestly, I feel like this is my tier list. Um, Hinokami Tanjiro, I think, is the best the character in the game. Damage, water wheel. He essentially encompasses all these characters. He has a DP, invincible get up. Uh, I think most characters have DP. I think Hinokami Tanjiro is the only one without, like, a true, true DP. 
uh, and uh, Udodaki. But other than that, I think everyone has like an invincible like get up move. But other than that, yeah, I think this is my tier list. Uh, comment down below who you think is top five. I think my top five right now is Water Tanjiro, Ren Goku, Shinobu, uh, Inosuke, and Hinokami Tanjiro. Um, I hope you guys agree with this tier list. If not, then comment down below who you think is like lower or bad. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, tell me how you think the audio mixing was because I just decided to put in a song, like put in like background music uh, and stuff. But like, you know, it could be messed up and it could be uh, bad, but I lowered the volume. Um, let me stop rambling, but this is my tier list. Go ahead and screenshot it, um, whatever. Uh, I'll probably put this in the thumbnail so you guys can look at it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.